This story may sound like science fiction, but it's actual reality. And it's a Minnesota creation. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how state-of-the-art technology is giving true liberation to people who have lost a limb. We've all seen the images, Luke Skywalker or the Terminator, bionic beings based on fantasy. Thumbs up, right? But now, thanks to these dime-sized chips sitting at the University of Minnesota's engineering lab, fantasy is reality. A nerve interface, a neural interface that you know can connect the human mind to a computer. Yep, you heard that right. A robotic arm that's made for people who have lost it's their own, like Cameron Slavin, who lives in Texas. It was pretty, pretty horrible. Uh, it was a, a factory incident. Uh, manufacturing. I was working with a machine and it basically crunched up my hand and part of my arm and they had to amputate. He heard about a trial at the U of M with Jules and his professor, Ji Yang. They started the research 10 years ago in Singapore. They're amazing. The, the work they're doing is out of this world. Cameron's been frustrated with current electrical arms that are controlled by muscles that have to be triggered by him making certain movements. The ones created at the U are connected to nerves. And then they, you know, the computer and the mind communicate with each other and then understanding each other. And then that's a, a no result in the, the patient be able to control the processes in a, a natural way. So it's like a natural movement. They can move their arm, which yeah. is their brain. Yeah, yeah. And that's new. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow. They use artificial technology, similar to the kind that does facial recognition, to interpret what the brain is saying and tell the hand what to do. So it's reading their mind. Yeah, basically, yeah. It, 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 it's reading your mind. That's basically. unbelievable. So all these different technology coming together. Kind of amazing how fast this technology works. The brain sends information to this neuroface technology. Then this translator using AI then sends the information to the hand and the movement happens. That all happens in 10 milliseconds. And after about 10 trips to the Twin Cities, it happened for Cameron. We got a day it's called a five finger day. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a day that we have like all of them working properly. A day you will never forget. Yeah, absolutely. A day that gave Cameron mobility and hope. It was just so exciting and it was so fun to be part of that. It really was. I, I, don't, I don't know another word, but it's bigger than that, you know? There, there's fun and reassuring and there's um, exciting. And that's just all on the emotional level, mind-blowing, you know? The technology is just catching on, and the hope is the industry will catch up. Any idea of how much it costs to make? Well, I'm way choking that it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, yeah. So for now, they will keep experimenting with people like Cameron, whose fantasy is already becoming reality. Like, I don't know how to say thank you enough that they're, they're trying and that they're making leaps and bounds. At the University of Minnesota, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News. Researchers are looking for more people like Cameron to sign up for the trial. The phone number to call is 858-205-0206. Don't worry, we're going to put that number along with an email contact at WCCO.com.